Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript Advanced Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will talk about prototype. We will understand what is prototype is and how to use a prototype in ECMAScript 6. So let's understand what is prototype. When you are referring to a method that are available an in instance of the class, you are referring to prototype method. Prototype perform dynamic dispatch using the prototype gen. Every function has a special property prototype. For regular function, prototype isn't used. But it is critically important for function that act as constructor. Using this example, you will understand how to create a function which act as a constructor. So we'll just take a very simple example. So I will just write this example first and explain what we had done. So I will just say let f is equal to and I will create a function here. And in this function, we create two properties using this keyword. So I will just say this dot a is equal to 1. Then we will create the second property this dot b is equal to 2. And just after that, I will create an instance of this function. So I will just say let o is equal to new f, right? And specify parenthesis to call this function. And just after that, I will create one more property using the instance. So I will just say o dot d is equal to 5. Now I just wanted to create a prototype properties to this function. So I will just add properties in f functions using prototype. So I will just say f dot prototype dot b is equal to 3. And then I will just say f dot prototype dot c is equal to 4. Now I have created c property here using prototype. So here we created a function and specified a reference of that function in the variable. In this function, we created two properties, A and B. We had used this keyword because we are creating an instance of this function using a new keyword. So this function act as a object. So we specified two properties of A and B. Just after that, I had created an instance of this function using new keyword. So this function act as object constructor. Then we will create a property using instance of an object. So using the prototype, I will create two properties. Right? So here I have just created B to inherit the B property and along with that we had created C property also and specified some values. Now the important about the prototype is a mechanism called dynamic dispatch. But what is a dynamic dispatch is? Well, when you wanted to access any property or method of the object, if it is doesn't exist, then JavaScript will check object prototype to see if it is exist there. Then if the prototype is exist there, then the JavaScript will use that prototype property. I will show you how it's work. So if I just print object properties on the console, then you will get very interesting output. So if I just say console.log and print o.a, so I will just print my first property. And I just wanted to print my all property here. So I will just copy and paste it here and just change o.b o dot c and o dot d right so on the console you will get one two four and five right so now here you can see the b property is not inherited using the prototype because the javascript will first check if the b property is available in the function or not if it is available then the javascript will print the b property on the console if the B property doesn't exist, then the JavaScript will print prototype value, right? So if I just comment here to the B property and run this program again, then you will get three on the console. 
Now here the JavaScript use the prototype B property, right? We are using three object properties and one prototype. So here property A, B and D is its own property of the object and property C is the prototype of an object. Now let's print object on the console. So if I just print this object on the console, so I will just say console.log and print O, then you will see your object properties. When you click on this little icon, you can see your prototype properties. Just click on this proto property of the prototype method and here you can see your prototype properties. The prototype property is invisible just like this. If you wanted to call the f function then you will say console.log and say f here. Now I will just print the reference of the function on the console. So I had just specified f here. So when I execute this I will get my function on the console. Now here the prototype method is invisible. The same statement you can write with the prototype method also. So I will just say console.log f dot prototype. Right? Now here you can get your properties and the constructor function. Both statement are same. In the first statement the prototype is invisible. Both statements return the same properties. And using the second statement which has a prototype method return the constructor function right there is a lot more to learn in prototype but taking too much detail of prototype will overwhelming for you so we will cover the prototype in the future lectures that's it i have asked a question in the comment answering that question will help you to understand this topic more easily that is all for now we will see you in the next tutorial